It's a necessary evil in some video games, but to me, I find it incredibly entertaining. Hi, I'm Mai, and today I'll be talking about one of my favourite video game mechanics and video game genres. One of my favourite genre of video games are the type where all you do is grind. The term grinding or farming is where the player is expected to perform repetitive tasks in order to complete a long-term goal. This function is often found in RPGs and MMOs that I have found to be prevalent in other genres. Think about leveling up your party in Pokemon in order to be strong enough for the next gym leader, or crafting and selling items in Animal Crossing in order to pay off your debt. Stardew Valley, Minecraft, and Graveyard Keeper are other games to name a few. Now, unlike my everyday life, I enjoy the thrill of farming XP, gaining an over-encumbrance of materials, and doing mundane, repetitive tasks. Let's just say that Sky Factory, my favourite mod in Minecraft. But also, unlike my real life, I love to have multiple tasks and quests on the go. Although I am realistically able to multitask, I find that in a video game there are far less consequences and stress if I fail to complete a task on time. I suppose this is one of the reasons why I haven't completed several RPGs. Fallout, I'm looking at you. Now, I have a taste for games that don't seem to end and more often than not, I feel sad when a story comes to a close. I have completed my fair share of games, but the thing those games don't have in common with farming games is that they support a more linear story. I'm definitely the more run around, doing whatever kind of player, I'll admit. It's expected to finish a story within a few hours with a noticeable end goal in sight, but I never want it to end. I prefer the more laid back approach with gaming and with my completionist habit, I get an unsettling feeling if I feel like I'm close to completing a title but haven't found all the secrets or certain achievements first. The beauty of franchises such as Minecraft you can set your own goals and take control of how you play the game. Personally, my first save of Graveyard Keeper is really long, like in-game months long. The majority of that playthrough involves me mining and autopsies and not so much story progression. I get lost in these games and wonder where the time has gone. My most recent title of this nature is Forager, a 2D open world game focused on farming, fighting and crafting. Now if you are into those kind of games I highly recommend it. I suppose as well that with my particular mental health issues it's a blessing to have a game that I can just switch off to and ignore the major stresses of everyday life. I'll let the sprite on my screen do the heavy lifting for me thanks. Now don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with playing FPS games, battle royales or games from the other side of the room. For many, those type of games have their form of therapy and stress relief. I'm just saying this is the one genre that I find comforting in times of anxiety and stress. Or really something to help me wind down before I go to bed. The only danger of these type of games is the fact that I can lose myself for hours on end. Like, for example, last night I turned on my Nintendo Switch and after battling with what I like to play, <sighs> choose the game. <laughs> I settled on my time at Porsche. This game is similar to the likes of Stardew Valley where you set up a building workshop in a quiet post-apocalyptic town called, you guessed it, Porsche. I only intended to play for an hour or two and seeing as I wasn't working the next day, I could have a wee lie in. Suffice to say, four hours later and I was still playing. <laughs> and this isn't the first time I've done this. In general, it's a habit of mine when I'm obsessed with a task or passion about a recent project. Last week, it was Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Still is, if I'm perfectly honest. Suffice to say, this, dare I say, subgenre of games is something that I have only discovered in the last five years or so, and I couldn't be more grateful. Games like these make me want to develop my own game in the future, and who knows, maybe I will. So tell me, what's your favorite video game genre? Are you a weirdo like me and enjoy the daily grind? Let me know in the comments below. I'd also like to give a huge thank you to you for watching this video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe uh, for more and have a good one.